Hello. From March 5th to March 11th, 2021, the Brazil-Canada Chamber of Commerce will be hosting the 15th edition of the Brazil-Canada PDAC, taking place during the 2021 PDAC virtual convention, which includes a series of events focused on the Brazilian mineral exploration and mining industries. I'm Carolina Alberna, CEO of the Brazil-Canada Chamber of Commerce, and I'm here today with Christian Milau, CEO of Equinox Gold, a multi-asset mining company and one of the only gold producers of scale operating entirely in the Americas. So Christian, welcome and thank you for being here. Uh, first of all, congratulations for the amazing year that you had in 2020. Thanks, Carolina. I appreciate uh, coming back again. I think we've participated over the last number of years, although we're virtual this year, so a little different. A little different, yes. Uh, Equinox Gold so has undergone extraordinary growth in the last two years, growing from a single asset developer to having seven mines in production, United States, Mexico, and Brazil by the end of 2020. Uh, and then at the end of the year, you also announced your acquisition of another company. Why such rapid growth? Yeah, we, we took a decision about three years ago, and it was us as management and Ross Beattie primarily as our, our major shareholder that we wanted to build the sort of next great gold company here in the sector. And gold price was probably $1,100, $1,200 an ounce. And we really felt that now was the time to build a company if we could access the capital and put the people and the pieces together. And our sector has probably gone through a tough eight or 10 years of really downsizing and, you know, companies selling assets and repaying debt. We thought, let's create a growth company that's almost counter cyclical before the sector turns. And so we started three years ago and we've been aggressively trying to acquire assets in different countries to diversify and enlarge the portfolio and, and give investors the best exposure to gold as, uh, as we think the cycle turns back to a much more positive environment for gold. And it already has moved that way. It's working for sure. So what was the, so that's the rationale behind the Premier Gold acquisition or like what's the rationale behind it? Yeah, I think Premier is probably just a logical next step. We probably had the heft and size and scale before the Premier acquisition, but we're always looking for those kind of larger, longer life, sort of good quality assets that will grow with us over decades, really. And the primary asset of interest in Premier was Hard Rock in Ontario. And it's a five and a half million ounce deposit of 14 year mine life. And it's in one of the best mining jurisdictions in the world. So what it did was balance our portfolio where we have Mexico, Brazil, and the US um, almost split a third, a third, a third in terms of asset values and reserves and resources. And then we bring in Canada to make it a quarter for each of these regions. And it just balances it out, us out really nicely. And um, I think investors were quite keen to see us be diversified across one more jurisdiction, at least in Canada is a good mining jurisdiction as well. This is great. So uh, two weeks ago, uh, you announced your 2021 guidance and outlook and mentioned that this is a year of significant investment for the company. How will that translate into the shareholder value? Yeah, we, we've definitely put together a portfolio where we see some real call it hidden potential or opportunity to expand and grow. And, you know, we're going to spend about $400 million plus this year on expansion of either existing assets through uh, extending lives, mine lives with exploration or building out new, uh, new mines. And, and our number one mine that we're building out is in uh, Brazil in Bahia state, Santa Luz. And we're actually putting that back into production. Uh, the construction is about a hundred million dollars and it'll be done around the end of 2021. So we'll add another 100,000 100, ounces of gold production in 2022. So it's putting that mine into production and expanding a couple of the other ones that'll take us towards 900,000 ounces of annual production per year. So uh, we'll be moving from about 600 up to around 900. So big, big change. So a lot on your plate with uh, yeah. all those projects. And uh, what, um, so you have four big growth projects right now. How will your production profile change as those mines come online then? Yeah, the way to think of it is, I guess, last year we did just under 500,000 ounces of gold production. This current year we'll do just over 600,000 ounces of production. And then next year, maybe up to 900,000 ounces. And beyond that, give or take a million ounces. And that was always our original goals to get to about a million ounces a year of annual gold production. And, and from there, we can continue to optimize and extend lives. And maybe we do add another asset or two along the way. Amazing. So uh, you call yourselves the premier America's gold producer. How does that America's focus resonate with investors? Yeah, it's resonated very well. And, and I guess our initial investments were in the Americas, in Brazil and California. And, um, you know, investors have said they prefer to have that kind of geographic focused sort of north south, which is almost easier to manage in terms of time zones and, and even for travel for us. Uh, we're based here in Vancouver. 
And um, the political risk and mining friendly jurisdictions that we operate within are, are important aspects of the overall diversity and scale and, and ultimate, um, you know, trading value of this business. And investors said, we want that exposure. And there aren't many companies, we're probably one of three pure play America's focused gold producers. This is amazing. And uh, how, what should we expect next in terms of your long-term strategy? And uh, are you totally focused on your existing assets, those seven mines, or are you still looking for new projects? Yeah, our primary focus now that we've, we're completing that uh, premier transaction probably in the next few weeks here will be on building out our portfolio. So developing, expanding the current mines, extending the mine lives through exploration. However, we're going to keep our eyes open to see if there's other opportunities along the way. Um, the hurdle rate's fairly high to look for another add-on asset or, or mine or acquisition. And um, we'd like to be a million to two million ounces anyways in terms of annual production. And we're kind of just breaking into that threshold over the next 18 months to two years. And, you know, we'd like that to be a long multi-decade sort of platform that eventually is a dividend paying company of some scale, diversity and stable during the multiple cycles we, we will plan to see. And, you know, Ross built, uh, I guess, Pan Am Silver over 27 years. We're only three years into this, but uh, our goal is to still be here and strong in 27 years. This is amazing. So congratulations on all uh, the hard work and all the, the results that you're getting. Um, thank you so much for your time and for your support throughout the years as a lawyer sponsor of our PDAC events. Uh, and we wish you a great convention and all the success for the Equinox, uh, for Equinox Gold and for all your team. Um, stay tuned, Christian Milau will be one of the speakers of our TSX CEO uh, talk show, Trends and Challenges in the Global Mining Industry, moderated by Rob Patterson uh, from TSX and TSX Ventures that will take place on March 5th at 11, at 1.45 p.m. as part of the Brazil Canada Mining Insight session. And don't miss it. For more information and that registration, please go to www.braskinchamber.org slash PDAC 2021. We look forward to see you there. Thank you, Christian, and we'll see you at PDAC. Thanks, Carolina.